you don't have to rely on your model producing more content if you want to maximize your traffic for your OnlyFans agency. Matter of fact, you can make money without having any model at all, just use an AI. Today, I'll share with you in detail one of the many methods we use to create unlimited content. Plus, I'll give you a couple of other use cases how we use AI for our OnlyFans agency. So right now, I'm sure a bunch of you use ChatGPT uh, with some simple prompts in order to write your captions for Twitter or Reddit or OnlyFans or whatever platform you use. I just wanted to share with you guys one method that we use in order to create unlimited content and it's simple and effective. But with this video, I just wanted to show you how simple it can be to integrate AI into your agency. Our other use cases are not that simple. Matter of fact, some of them are pretty advanced. But let's dive into the screen and show you one very simple method literally anyone can use. All right, so I created this influencer in under one minute. So let's break it down how I did it. Uh, first of all, you head over to rendernet.ai. Um, account creation is free. Uh, after signing in, you head over to studio. Uh, that's what I'm in right now. And basically from there, um, you select the model that you want to utilize. Um, I use Epic Realism. Uh, it should be down here. And then um, you enter the prompt. So the prompt I use is right here. 20 year old blonde woman in a coffee shop blur background. As you can see, uh, these are the two, two results I got. And um, once you hit enter, you just watch the magic happen. Uh, that's what I did here. That's the result what I got. And that's all you need to do. Now look, I created this AI influencer. Uh, so that means you don't even need an actual model. Uh, if you really want to push just this, you can go with AI. Uh, but given most of you actually have a model, uh, let me show you how you can use that uh, if you already have a model, right? So basically what you do is you click the image and you go for face lock. Once you're in face lock, and there we go. It basically means that now you can keep your model's face in every next creation that you do. And that's actually the magic behind this because you can just insert your own creator in here, use the face lock, and then go and create whatever you want, regardless of what the pose is, regardless of what the background is, your model's face will still be on the picture that you're be, gonna be creating. So what you can do then is basically create a bunch of alternatives when whatever prompt you use, the model face stay the same, but the creation will be different. Let's look at a couple. All right, so here we got another prompt on your old blonde woman on a high building with stunning view. We kept the same face in both of locations. And as you can see, pictures are pretty, pretty good. There's a lot of things else we can do. Let's look at another one. So I just pushed in this new prompt, blonde hair as a doctor in a hospital blurred background let's see how that comes out all right it, it takes its time pop <laughs> and there you go um we just got a 20 year old blonde woman as a doctor in a hospital i did not ask for this kind of picture specifically i thought it would only come out like this one but this is basically someone you could, something you can probably already use for your only fans page and that's the power of this thing but now the face lock is not the only power of this system uh, they have something else which I'm going to show you right now. So they have something that is called control net. You will see it here on the left hand side. And control net basically locks in the pose. And the beauty of everything is that you can combine the both. Which means that you can almost totally control what the output is going to be like. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload a picture of a pose. All right, so the next prompt is the 20 year old woman with blonde hair as a yoga teacher. We lock in the face, we lock in the pose of the yoga teacher. You can actually leave this out and it will still probably do the same thing. Uh, and a blurred background still, because that is how a lot of people take pictures these days. Boom, and there we go. I changed up the prompt a little bit because the previous result wasn't as expected. You're gonna need to do that as well. Uh, I think this picture is pretty good. Now we suddenly have a niche creator. Uh, you can do this with any type of niche, any type, pose, whatever you're in, uh, trying to get out of this. And um, yeah, that's how you basically can keep creating unlimited pictures of the same creator. You can do it with your creator. Um, that's the power of this. This is just to show you how easy it can be to use AI content creation for your agency. Now let's get you guys a little overview of how you can use AI even more for your agency and how actually we use it as well for my agency. So like I mentioned earlier, you guys most likely use ChatGPT in order to write captions and all these things. Right now there's a better alternative available for this, which is called Freedom GPT. Freedom itself uh, says it itself, it's basically 
uh, a platform we use uh, that allows adult related prompts, meaning uh, there's a lot more possible regarding uh, adult related prompts, which are not available on ChatGPT uh, in order to write our captions and other things as well. One of those other methods, for example, is we use Freedom GPT with a couple of specific prompts in order to write sex stories for us to do text threads on Reddit to drive traffic. Uh, I don't know, some of you might be uh, familiar with the text threads that you can post on Reddit, but text stories is completely agency dependent way of driving traffic and you can use Freedom GPT in order to write them for you. We also use deep fakes in order to recreate popular Reddit GIFs, Reddit videos that you see out there um, from creators similar to our models. Uh, you can use these fake videos regarding any type of marketing that you want to use it. It's just a powerful tool because you don't need your model to create. You just need her face in order to uh, deep fake it on the video that you would like to use. And then you can reuse the content as in it being original just with your model's face on it. We also use AI bots to take care of our funneling from dating apps all the way to OnlyFans. We use AI chatting, for example, to push the traffic from the dating apps all the way until the OnlyFans page. Uh, I talked about this two or three videos ago and I will leave the link for you guys below because we actually made this available for anyone to use. And there's a lot more that you can possibly use. So let's run to a couple more just real quick there's for example postwise postwise lets writes for you viral tweets and viral threads uh, for twitter uh, which again is a completely agency dependent method uh, which you can do uh, in order to do the posting on twitter for your creator you can also use cheat layer cheat layer can basically automate everything uh, just to give you an example of a use case would be scraping linkedin profiles we all know linkedin is not one of the popular methods on only fancy use so it's quite a blue ocean still and that is for example one of the ways you can use it and i feel like ai just in general is not understood enough by most agency owners uh, because if you would truly understand the power of ai and what is possible there right now you would possibly and probably already be using it a lot more for your agency cool those were just some of the many ways that we use ai in order to help our only fans agency and i did not even scratch the surface just yet if you run your agency right now without using any type of AI, I need you to think twice because there's a lot of use cases where you can actually use AI, which you might just not be aware of. It helps us a lot. Let it help you too as well. And that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Easy.